Hi, I'm Mark and this is Everyone Can Grill. Today we're going to do some barbecued beans on the Weber kettle grill, cooking indirect. It'll take about an hour and a half, but we're going to add a little bit of rum to it and some other things to make it just perfect. So while this is warming up, let's get started. Okay, my coals are ready, so let's put them in the baskets. Do about an even shot on either side. Okay, as you can see, I got the basket set up for indirect cooking. I already closed off my grate down at the bottom. But what I want to do, since I'm going to have all that bacon, is I'm going to put a little drip pan in here that I made out of aluminum foil. Now what we're going to do is we're going to take my grate. And like I said in my other video, we're not going to put it on this way. We're going to take it and we're going to flip it upside down. And I'm going to do this. Just like that. Use gloves because this gets so stinking hot it's not even funny. And I'm going to put the lid on it and let it warm up a little bit. Drills up to about 400 degrees already. I'm going to take off the lid. I'm going to put on my cast iron skillet. Put a little bit over top of those coals and let it get warm for a second. And the next thing I want to do is I want to put two pieces of bacon in here. And you can say that's a lot of bacon for a small can of beans. But why just cut one piece of bacon? So I'm going to close that. I'm going to let it render a little bit. And then we'll come back and we'll start adding everything. Alright, it's been about four minutes over those hot coals. And you can hear that sizzling now. And I'm starting to get some of that grease out of there. And that's all I want to do. I'm not trying to cook this bacon. I just want to get a little bit of the grease out of it. Just for sauteing these onions and peppers. Now I diced up a small pepper and a jalapeno, and they're just going in here right now. And we're not going to hurry this, because we want that to be nice. I'm really not into crunching jalapenos in my baked beans. But it will cook down long enough when it's sitting in direct to where we shouldn't have that anyhow. So I'm going to let that go for a few minutes and then we'll start adding the beans and the barbecue sauce and some rum. Okay, it's been about five minutes with these things over pretty much to direct coals. And you can see now they're starting to take on some nice color. The bacon's starting to melt. And we're ready to move. So I'm going to pull that off of the heat, just like that. And we're going to add one can. I'm using Bush's baked beans. But honestly, it just doesn't matter what you put in here. Because it's all going to end up being good. With those onions and peppers and mushrooms, or onions and peppers and bacon going, how can it be bad? Now I'm going to give it a good squirt of this store-bought barbecue sauce. And again, that doesn't need to be fancy or anything because it's just going to add to the flavor. I want to add some of my dry rub. I'm going to put a good helping of that in there. It'll give it a little bit of heat, a little bit of that smoky paprika going in there, and it just doesn't get any better. Now we'll stir this in a little bit. Just getting it mixed for the next step and I call this pirate baked beans and I'll show you why because we're gonna put in a good helping of Cap Morgan's and I mean I'm not shy with the Cap Morgan's it thins this way out 
gives it a lot of cooking time. And you don't have to worry about it. Most of that alcohol is going to cook out of there. But what it does, as you can see right now, is it just makes that thin and gives you a good long cooking time. I don't want to put a pan, geez, when Pete, that coals are hot. I don't want to put a pan or a cover on this because I'm going to add some pecan wood when I get some chicken on here. And I want that to absorb that smoke. Because, I mean, why would you want to cover it up and not get that smoke in there? You might as well cook them on the stove top. So, these are pretty much a good to go deal. I'm going to set them out of the way, let them bubble for oh, a good hour. I'll stir them every now and then. And I don't know, 20 minutes or so, I'll show you what we got. I have the top open and the bottom's almost all the way closed. That's going to give me about 350 degrees on the coals. And that's perfect for what I'm trying to do today. All right, it's been about 20 minutes. Let's check on these beans. I added a little bit more pecan wood to it. I just want to, oh my goodness. I just want to give this a quick stir. Yeah, it's looking really good. Oh, my God, does that taste good. Let's let this heat back up, get some more smoke going, see what it looks like in another half an hour. All right, the grill temperature has come up pretty good. I want to give these beans a stir. Oh, my goodness. They're looking great. I see that chicken's doing pretty good, too. All right, let's stir some of these beans. See how they're doing? Oh, yeah. See, now they thickened up. I'm going to stir that smoke flavor down inside there. I think when this chicken's done, those beans will be done. Geez, I'll tell you what, there's not a dog in this neighborhood that's not salivating right now. Because this is just the way to go. Okay, let's give one more stir to these beans. I put a glaze on the chicken. I want to do these beans. Oh, they're nice and thick now, look at that. I told you when the chicken was ready, the beans would be ready. It just works out that way. Five minutes for the chicken. We'll get the beans off at the same time, and it'll be time to eat. All right, there's a close-up of the beans. They're done. Look at the bubble on the side. You can see the bacon in there and the jalapenos, onions. Good call, Miss Molly. This is going to be better than... I expected. So let me get all this off. We'll get it in the house and we'll see how everything tastes. All right, we got to try these beans. It's been like two hours. And I'm not kidding, my dog's over here drooling. Look at the bacon and the jalapenos and everything in there. Geez, oh, Pete. Mmm. Yep. You can taste the rum, you can taste that dry rub. Jalapenos aren't hot, but they taste like jalapenos. Bacon, two strips of bacon. Like I said, why only cut one? This is definitely a do-over every time. It doesn't get any easier than that either.